morning beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is Chantelle for those of you who don't know and in today's video I will be doing this eyeshadow look um this is look two of the five part mini series that I'm putting together for the perfect looks for Valentine's Day um this look is simple understated um but really nice um tied together with the red bold lip um yeah i really do like this look i like the way it's turned out and again i'm killing two birds with one stone i have used only this eyeshadow palette called date night it's one of the p louise love tapes it looks like this and when I tell you these colours are stunning, they're beautiful, they're soft, they're easily blendable. Um, yeah, well, yeah, absolutely love this palette. Um, yeah, so if you want to see exactly what I did to create this look, um, please keep watching. Right, so I'm going to start off again using the Revolution Beauty Ultimate Eye Base in shade medium. I just put the smallest amount on my eyelids and then use my fingers to dab it out. And then I take a brush just to smooth out all the edges so it's got no harsh lines. So starting off in the date night palette, I'm going to go in with that dark brown and I'm just going to place that all into the crease and into the outer V of my eyes. I start by just packing on the colour, little by little, building it up. Um, what I notice with these palettes is there is hardly any, well I say hardly, there isn't, there isn't any fallout whatsoever. It doesn't matter how much product I put on, I have yet to see any kind of fallout. Right, so going in with that warmish red shade, um, I go over the dark brown shade because I see that the, the dark brown shade is a little bit on the cool side and I just wanted to warm it up a little bit and change the colour slightly to a warmer shade of brown. So I put that shade on top. Now going in with that lighter brown shade, I then go on the edge of that brown just to smoke it out a little bit so that there's no harsh lines. So using the P. Louise white base, I'm now going to do my little cut crease. Um, yeah, it's like a half cut crease. I love her bases. The colours, when you put on top of them, they just pop. That's like a little trick, guys. Once you put the colour down by your lashes, if you look up, then it will automatically mark out where your cut crease should end. Yeah, that's a perfect little trick. So now that I've cut the crease, I then have to go back in with that dark brown colour just to um, pull it on the outer V and just slightly over where the cut crease starts so that it can have a seamless transition from the outer eye into the shimmer shade. Sorry guys if my voice is a little off, I've got a little bit of a sore throat, so yeah, bear with me. Now going into that rose, rose gold shimmer shade, I put that all over my lids where you can see that i've cut the crease this is such a stunning and beautiful color it's like rose gold so it's got a goldy kind of tinge to it but it's still got that 
pink shimmer, which is perfect for Valentine's. I really do like how this look is turning out, but I'm telling you guys, wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow's makeup look is by far my favourite so far in the series, so please look out for tomorrow's look. Right, so now I'm gonna use the Ciate Stamp and Drag, but just the eyeliner side just to line my eyes. Absolutely love this Ciate Stamp and Drag. I think in the last video you saw me use the stamp side. Right, so I've actually completed the rest of my base makeup. Um, I wanted to focus solely on the eyes on this video, um, but I did wanna come back and let you see me use this P. Louise blush. It's absolutely stunning, highly pigmented. You only need a little bit of it. So now going back into that dark brown color, I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line and then just blend it out just so that um, I can have that dark, smoky under eye look. I absolutely love that look. It kind of just brings the whole eye look together. So one of the last steps now is that bold red lip. Um, this is the e.l.f. Cherry, um, it's the satin lipstick. It's the cherry coloured one, my favourite. I did a lip swatch video back um, a few weeks ago on these lipsticks and this was by far my favourite and it's a perfect dupe for the MAC Ruby Woo lipstick. So yeah, I thought I would complete this look with the red lip. So now I'm going to use the Benefit, the Pore Professional Super Setter Setting Spray just to set all that makeup in place. Absolutely love this setting spray. It's fine. It's, the mist is really fine. It lasts all day and I can't rave about this product enough. Now my final step that I always do is to use the highlighter on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose just to finish off the look. As you guys know, I don't put it anywhere else because I don't like to highlight my acne scarring. Right guys, I'm back. So as you can see, this is the finished look. I thought I would quickly jump back on just to round up the video. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you. Um, if I could ask you to please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so and then click the little notification bell beside it and then hit all so you never miss another upload from me and while you're down there if I could ask you to please hit the thumbs up button it really does help me and my channel out and I would really appreciate it um yeah please feel free to drop a comment below um if you've ever used this uh palette date night yeah date night or any one of the other love tapes yeah, right guys, um, that's it. I'm gonna leave this video here and say have a beautifully blessed day and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.